this is a spec pit design tutorial number five now in this tutorial I'll show you how to clip the pit design to S build and then I'll show you how to calculate the volumes now basically we'll intersect uh, design and S build that will give us a string we we'll name the string we we'll save it as a um, file and from there we'll determine the volume of cut okay using that um, intersected string or string developed by intersection we'll clip the as build and the design and I'll, I'll show you how to match them together okay I've got the uh, CPEX startup I've got my advanced uh, design folder ready so I have to bring in the uh, files that I created from tutorial 4 so I've got the DTM here for the pit design I bring the string in so I just look around that's the pit design that I did in tutorial 4 I just did uh, one switch back for you guys but then I let you do the rest of it takes a while to do it by trial and error yeah, and the rest of it otherwise it's all repetition so I've done that I bring my let's build terrain in it's there every time you do the pit design it's good to take the pit design all the way up uh, and out of the let's build in that way you can clip and yeah well the clipping will work well okay uh, new versions of setback uh, they, uh, they do the volumes uh, clipping just by solids just like mine say but I'm used to the old way of doing a setback with a uh, uh, version 3 so I'll show you that uh, method so this is my pit design I've got it here now I'll just um, have to find the line of intersection between the pit design and the S build I'll just have to freeze this string file here okay to intersect this I just go surfaces uh, clip DTM files and then I go line of intersection between DTMs click that I want the uh, first layer it's a pit design tutorial for DTM that's it and then I want this uh, let's build terrain okay that's it uh, I want the string number to be 7 and then I want that uh, output layer to be int uh, as build just give a descriptive name so you can refer to it in later uh, design and then you go apply because um, I've got a well-defined uh, intersection and overlap I have a well-defined uh, string line so it created this file I just freeze the others and we'll see the string here I have to save that yeah you see the same name build design go apply okay just to make sure there's no error in it I just have to clean that string so go edit segment clean string will duplicate points go apply and then click there's no duplicate points I have to check for spikes segment clean uh, spikes show the spikes no spikes there that's good it's very neat okay save it I have that okay if I want to find the volume I'll just have to load the style for that string so I just style load so I got the correct string uh, style file to it uh, just have to go to the folder that I have my style in that's it so it gives me string number seven okay that's good 
okay if i want to find the volume i've got the two solids in here already and i can just go to services and i go volumes cut and fill between DDMs. okay i fit uh, pick up the first uh, DTM of being uh, the S build. Mm, get the um, bit design. Let's hit uh, the boundary screen. This one here. Uh, string number is seven. Okay, I want my name to be Vol. Uh, to the five get okay, a numbers and string doesn't really matter decimal zero uh, density of the material just put two I want to save it as a CSV file I can ask for a detailed report or I can uh, get by a report by elevation uh, elevation is similar to one I showed you in uh, solid volume so you can refer to that but just for now I'll just go detail and report and then once I'm satisfied just go apply so I still doing the calculations Yeah, the spreadsheet shows <clears throat> the card you will do. And that's about all of it. And that's how you get the volume. You can do it by benches. And then you can do your forecast or whatever on it. So I just go save. Save that. And then just close it. Okay, that's how you do get the volume. Okay, I'll just show you how to clip. Um, just get rid of, um, like I said, I said I'll work off from the string file. So I'll just get rid of the um, solids. I bring in the string files. I uh, just have to load the style on this. It looks ugly. Okay, that looks much better. And then I bring that uh, bit design final in. Okay. First, I have to clip out uh, where the design is going to go. So I'll start off with this. I bring my intersection string in. I'll freeze the design out. Okay, so I've got my intersection string here. Uh, let's build terrain. I'll just uh, make it active. Uh, have it on plan view. Okay, I'm ready to clip it out. So I go um, edit, go trim, clip by selected segment. Okay, I want the uh, inside out. Apply, and then I click on my string so it's working in the background now we'll just wait for it there's a lot of uh, data in there so it's taking a while ok that's it I've clipped everything out ok I'll go save it uh, normally I uh, have it as um, CLP at the end just to show that it's the clip the string or layer apply that I'll just take that out okay I have to clip the design too so uh, get the design on but the design I want to take the ones that I don't need off so this time I'll use the object function Okay, I go back to edit, trim, 
click by selected segment it's this time I say outside instead of inside or apply and then you click on the string now for this function to work it has to be a closed string so that's it I've got it I'm happy with that go save uh, once again I'll just uh, CLP at the end apply okay I've got that that's it okay I'll just uh, refresh the strings okay I'll show you how I'm gonna put them together imagine a bit uh, it works by bringing one uh, string in first okay I'll bring the as built in okay it's in the clip one okay I want to bring the clip design in but when I want to uh, when I bring the clip design in I have to press on the control button and then uh, bring the clip design in so click on that and then bring it in so now you see that uh, it's uh, all matched in one first file so I'll just save it and then for normally I say match at the end and then I'll just say as build as build <clears throat> at least something you can work out with <clears throat> and then I go apply that's it refresh it okay bring the string back in so you got this match uh, string there so I'll just uh, create a DTM and then I do uh, make it look uh, much better just take this off so you got your bit there clip on the side of the wall <coughs> basically you start uh, mining from here come to make a switch back and then mine your way out come around do a switch back go down and yeah you go all the way down and mine this out so yeah this is how you do a pit design and then clip it um, in the next tutorial um, oh sorry and then just to make it complete I'll just um, bring the old body in. That's the old body there. So you can. That's the old body we created from the, one of the tutorials in the previous. Um, so what we'll do is find the volume of that uh, old body. So I'll just uh, I'll just bring in the as build. So not the as build. I'll just bring in the clip the match DTM okay so I'll just uh, in this uh, tutorial I'll just show you how to clip uh, a solid this is a solid and this is a DTM so I'll just um, show you how much oil that's in that pit okay I'll go uh, this time it's a solid function so I go down and I from solid tools I'll go clip a solid um, about DTM Select that. I uh, just name the layer. I'll just say mind four. I want it uh, string number two, object number two. Sorry. And then in here, I say uh, select the uh, three DTM tracelation. So I select this, and then it says select DTM tracelation. So I select this. Okay, that's it. So it's got um, solid uh, the whole body clipped out for you that you will be mining. I'll just uh, save this mind all. Okay, go save. That's it. Um, I'll just take it out but 
bring it back in so that's a blue one that we're gonna mind uh, I have to do some volumes and find out you know how much or that I'm uh, mining there so I just go I have to validate this uh, they refer to the previous tutorial that I've shown you so I just go validation validate translation I want to report file generated I'll just call it power uh, auto correct and then make it a solid so this is um, auto corrected validation done that's good uh, no errors here it's all closed okay and then I want the volumes so I go solid report volume of solids CSV just want the total volume you can do the others uh, in the world by range just like I showed you in uh, the introduction tutorials just click it then you have the volume here service area here and that's it for uh, the final bit design to